The Battle of the Press Arms is here and I'm so excited and I will tell you right now not one brand is the same. Every brand is going up and down. So hopefully you're excited for this video because I did a comparison on different brands and I ended up keeping almost every single set that I tried out because every brand is different with price, design, uh, flexibility, durability. Some popped off faster than others. And yeah, there's a bunch of stuff to go over with you. So like I said, hopefully you're excited. Now I am press on nail queen. And I will tell you right now, the number one reason why I love press ons is not the affordability, even though that's really up there. That's probably number two, but number one is what you see is what you get. Once you put on the press on nail, it's not going to trick you and all of a sudden like change. Okay. You know, when you go to the nail salon, you're, you have your inspo and you're like, Oh, you can't wait, you know? And then after you get your nails in, you're like, wasn't really exactly what you wanted. Maybe it might be kind of close to it. And sometimes it's like really far off. So with the nails, you're not going to be disappointed Two, obviously the price point, it's much cheaper than going to the nail salon. And three is the convenience because going to the nail salon is not just like an hour thing. It's like you prep to go there. Then you sit there. You might have to wait and all that. It takes a long time. So yeah, you might just want just the, you know what I mean? Accessibility. You just want nails for like one day, maybe three. And my longest set lasted almost 16 days. And that's because I have a ride or die glue that I'm going to show you right off the bat. And it's all about nail prep as well. But this is my number one glue. I did try out glues from the brand. So I would let you know. So when you do use it, and in case you don't want to buy the glue that I recommend, and you want to use the brand's glue, I'm going to let you know how it performs because I did try every single brand. So today I will be reviewing Glamnetic, Olive in June, OPI, Kiss, and also static. And I find that these nail brands are very, very popular. I did not try any off brands from Amazon. I just mainly pick the brands that I know you can get at Walmart, Alta, Sephora, and Amazon. Those were the main ones. So we're going to jump right into prices. And I will say there's a number one category where they win the number one spot for the highest price, the loser, but also the winner at the same time, if I'm making sense. So for Kiss Nails, I find that that brand is probably the most popular. They have the most good range of different designs and everything. And that means that their prices really range. So from Amazon, they start at $4.95, but I just put five and they range from five to eight for like their regular designs. Now, when you want to step it up and you want to get like the long nails with like the gems or magnetic powder and all of that, and just like the crystals and different designs, it can go up to $18.99. And that's also on Ulta and also Walmart. So you can get these on Amazon, which is very convenient. I will say it's just fast if you have Prime. But if you go to Ulta and you get that, then it's a twofer. You get your points and you can also use the coupon from Ulta to get the $5 off 15. There's also a lot of variety inside Walmart itself. It just depends on your store. So you got a lot of places you can get it. Now with Glamnetic, they are a newer brand in my opinion. They just celebrated their four year anniversary. And I really like the story behind the owner, the female founder, and it just, I don't know, it's just like inspirational, you know what I mean? To always go for your dreams. So I always appreciate that and gotta support that. Now you can get Glamnetic on Amazon, you can get Glamnetic at Ulta and also Sephora. So I will say Glamnetic prices on Amazon were 15 to 22 and also Ulta, but um, all the ones on Sephora, they only have their pairs listed for the $15 pairs. Uh, but the only downside with that is Sephora, you can wait for their sale when they do have it, if you're a VIB member, and you can get like the 10, 15, or 20% off. So you can get a discount there. If you get at Ulta, again, you can use the coupon. If you get on Amazon, it is convenient. But what's really cool is, they actually ended up sending me PR because they probably saw one of my nail videos and they reached out to me and they said, hey, we have an affiliate program. We can give your viewers 20% off. And I said, that's great. So if you want to actually get nails from their site, I'll link it down below as well as my code. You can use what would Lizzie do and you get 20% off. And that's their entire site because they also have like magnetic lashes and other stuff, but I'm talking about the nails. Next up is OPI. Now their prices range from $12.99 to $15.99. So, you know, they're like a little bit lower on like, um, depending, like, I guess you can say like high end, because to me, I look at Glamnetic, OPI and Static as a more high end brand, uh, just because of their designs and like the look that they go for and the packaging. Um, and then we have Olive and, and OPI you can get on Ulta, Amazon. Olive in June, I found it at Walmart and their prices range from $9.98 to $10.48. So that was like a very specific window. So 
ten dollars to ten fifty. <laughs> so yeah, that's what you get. Now with static, they are the most expensive. So ding ding ding, they won the first spot for the highest priced nail. They range from eighteen to twenty four dollars a set. If I'm looking at the price for the cheapest ones, it's gonna be Kiss. And Kiss is tried and true. It's a very long, um, it's a well-known brand. They are seasoned. Like Kiss has been around for a really long time. So it doesn't surprise me that they have the lowest prices. Uh, Kiss also has like their little sister brand, which is Impre Impress. And I will say those are press on nails, but it comes with adhesive. So you don't use glue. And I will tell you right now, they do not fit me. Those are for very short nail beds and also narrow nails. And they don't have a very big range of sizes. But if you have tiny nails, and you don't want to mess with glue go with impress and their prices are $9.99 to $12.49 but no glue it already comes with the glue attached like adhesive those don't last too long you're gonna get lint on that glue those are basically like a one to the two day wear and currently I'm wearing olive in June in case you are wondering and this one's in purple puka I have a reel on it on my Instagram Okay, I plan on doing all my press-ons just on my Instagram, so follow me there, and also my TikTok whenever I have new press-ons. Okay, so let's talk about designs. So um, I'm gonna go through each brand. Now, as far as Kiss, I will say that they actually won the number one uh, brand for the most like different types of designs. Uh, they have man magnetic nails, they have different lengths, they have gems, they have uh, different designs. Um, I was really, really impressed by these magnetic nails from them. They looked stunning on. They look exactly like what it looks like when you see people get their nails done at the salon. They have this really beautiful shift, which this nail surprised me. I did try another one and I will say um, they're matte. Any matte nail doesn't look the best, but I will say for a long set, it looked really pretty because it came with a long glitter nail as well. And the one that looked really pretty is the gems, which looks stunning when I wore it. And here's one of the nails. Like, look at that. The crystals really shine. I was very impressed. So if you're looking for a very, like, blinged out glam set for, like, a weekend or an event, I would definitely go with these. And in case you don't like, like, maybe the matte look, maybe combine it with another set, but this was a winner. But overall, with all the brands, Kiss has the largest amount of different designs from even lengths, uh, from French tip to solid colors, magnetic gems, glitter. Um, the lengths, they have even extra long now. So they have the widest variety. And it all depends what store you go to or where you order because Amazon will have different ones than the ones in Walmart. Um, again, it's just all a searching game and seeing what you're looking for, but they had the best variety. Now, I will say um, the ones that I weren't really impressed design-wise, but this also doesn't surprise me, is OPI. They are very new in the press-on nail game, which I'm pretty surprised they haven't put out press-on nails any sooner. But it's probably because I think once 2020 hit, people started backing off from spending money on nails and all of that. Um, I did try this opal set right here and it was very, very beautiful. And then I would suggest their solid colors. And this one is called Throw Me a Kiss. But when I tried out their French, it scraped off very fast. But I prefer their solid shades. But OPI had the least amount of designs. But that's just because, like I said, they're not, they just started expanding. Uh, the cutest designs, in my opinion, was a tie between Glamnetic and also Static. They have those um, beautiful simplistic designs they have like that clean look they have some really cool trendy designs that are very popular I know flowers are a big thing right now so here's a set I'm gonna link down all my favorite ones uh, but just like daisies and really cute geometrical designs and like I said even static static had some really beautiful designs like this one is a lavender tip just more trendy they had exactly what's trending and popping right now so if you're looking for that definitely try glamnetic or static but again static was more expensive and glamnetic is more affordable and 
I do have the 20% off code for Glamnetic. And then for Olive and June, I think they're definitely expanding. What's really cool with them is they also have an extra, extra short round. And I don't believe that even Kiss has an extra, extra small. It would be just your nail. Uh, no length, no nothing. It's very, very short. So when you put it on, it just looks like what your regular nail should look like. The best designs, like I said, arrange wise was Kiss and then second, which is more trendy and more clean and definitely looked a little bit more just like uh, done in the salon was Glamnetic and Static Nails. Now, when it comes to different sizing, the one that won number one spot was Olive and June. They have the biggest range in nail sizes. I think as time goes on, brands are gonna catch on. It's kind of like fashion and different things like that where, you know, plus size clothing wasn't a huge thing. There was no category for it. The market was very small, unfortunately, which is really sad. But again, everything evolves, people learn, and you would think they would already have it by now, but you know, everything just takes time. And I think since the press on nail game is so strong, I find that a lot of brands are gonna start venturing out into sizes, which I would hope they would, and it makes sense. Biggest range in size as far as thumbs. This one um, had the largest size width wise. So if you have wider nail beds, they do have some larger sizes, which is such a plus. And I really am happy that they have this range. A lot of these nails run a little differently, but they're all pretty much the same. Olive and June had the largest sizes. Everybody else was, I, I don't know, I hate to say this, but more typical average size, do you know? Um, but some of them ran a little bit more narrow than others. Like I will say that I find that static nails are more on the narrow side compared to other brands. When you find your perfect brand, this is what I suggest you do. Do it by size because size is what, size is what matters, not all the time, but you know. <laughs> But it's all about placement of the nail. You don't want to have the nails too small on you. Glamnetic kind of fell behind in that point as well. Um, but I was lucky Glamnetic fit me all around. Kiss is pretty good with sizes as well. You know what? They would probably... Mm, yeah, but their largest ones aren't even that large. Olive, Olive and June won that. They won that. As far as OPI, they were like the other brands as well. What comes in most sets, that's what they had too. So if you are someone with a larger nail bed, I would probably say your best bet is just go straight to Olive and June and don't even bother with any of the other sets, just being honest. Now, my main thing is I love a good French nail set and the brand that had the best and the most natural looking when placed was Kiss. And my favorite are the Petite or Real Short. And the number one, number one reason why I love them is because the white, French part does not come off right away. They are very bright white, or you can have like the cream with the white, but I just like the traditional like cream with the white tip. And these are the best, like they are my favorite. So if I'm ever gonna wear French, it's always gonna be Kiss 100%. They have the most long lasting French tips. Uh, you would think the other brands, because they're a little bit more expensive, they would have some type of coating that would just keep that color intact, but no. And then the one that lasted the best as well was Glamnetic. Uh, static nails, even though they're the most expensive for the purple, they faded pretty quick and I was very surprised. And it's not like I'm working construction or anything, you know, but I'm just like doing daily activities. I go to the gym, I'm like cleaning and all of that. So just keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to glitter tips, I will say that Glamnetic One, their glitter will not fade. It's like you feel the glitter. It's not very gritty, but you feel it and it will not go away. It is the prettiest like blinged out nail. And then second place would have to be Kiss Nails with any of their solid gl uh, glitter nails for sure. But glitter tips, Glamnetic. French tips, Kiss all the way. Now when it comes to solid colors, all the brands did really well. Even OPI, again, they're just starting, they're expanding, they're getting more nails put out. But as far as solid colors, they did really well. Like their colors lasted, but their French tip was the worst. It rubbed off right away. 
So yeah, if anything, just always go for the solids in OPI. Um, and again, it's just, it depends on what you're looking for because every brand kind of has like different shades and different finishes. Now, when it comes to durability, I will tell you right now that maybe this is why static charges the most, um, is that if you're, if you want a really natural nail and I'm not talking about acrylic feeling, almost like you got a, a regular manicure on your natural long nails, static is the way to go. They have the most flexible nail out of all the different brands. Uh, but I will say with that, it can also be a downfall because I noticed my thumb kind of bent down forward and they definitely have more of a curve. So they are the most curved nail. So if you have curved nail beds, static is gonna be number one for you because they're definitely curved. And they're so thin, like I'm telling you, it is the thinnest nail. See, you can just hear it. They bend too. Look, see? Look how quick they bend. Now, the most durable, like they're not bending whatsoever, is Olive and June. When I tried out their nails, like I'm wearing them right now, they are thick. And if you're someone where you don't mind wearing a press-on nail that's thick and durable, then Olive and June is the way to go. Let me just show you this. Look how thick that is. It, it's not bending. See how I can't flick it compared to static? Now let me get static. I'm going to show you the difference. Static from here. And then here's Olive and Jude. I couldn't even believe it, but the nails, she thick, okay? Thick. Nothing's bending. Like I'm telling you, no matter how, I, you would have to like punch something, smash something in order for this to break. But I will say with that, the material on the inside feels very plastic. Now that's why this was the number one nail to actually pop off pretty quick on me, even though I did my usual prep and everything. These ones have been lasting good, except after three days I had one of them already pop off, but they've been lasting now. So again, um, I think it just, you have to really prep your nails and get the right exact, exact size. And what I would do is just kind of sand the inside to give some grip so it grips onto your nail when you glue it. But as far as durability, these are not bending or going anywhere. But like I said, because they are so durable and they don't have any give to them, I find that that's why it's easy for it to pop off and not really curve to your nail or adhere to your nail. See what I'm saying? Every freaking nail was different and that's why I didn't do this video right away. So just like Olive and June, these different um, specialty nails from Kiss look a little cheapy on the inside, like underneath the nail. So if you don't care about that, then don't worry about it. Uh, and also I will say that when you see the number on the Olive and June, it is huge. So if that's gonna bother you and you see like your nails, I, I mean, uh, hopefully it doesn't bother you, but yeah, the number is huge on this. Uh, speaking of numbers, like the one that looks really nice, hold on, let me grab a set, is from Glamnetic. They look really nice underneath, but the only thing I will say is when you're trying to put on these nails, like it looks like a curved acrylic. Like this looks like the most natural acrylic nail, but the number, I had to literally put my flashlight on and I'm like, this one, I oh, it's a three. You have to really angle it in the light. It's just a change in sheen. Like on the inside is matte and the only way I can see it is because the, the number is shiny. When you find your perfect brand or say that you like multiple brands, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna open up notes in your phone and write the brand and say what numbers go on your thumb to your pinky so that you don't have to always look and size your fingers up because that's a waste of time. If you know you're gonna get that same brand, just boom, just write down your numbers. So now let's just go through each style that I ended up using. Used Confetti, which is a really fun one. I love the almond shaped nails from Glamnetic. They're probably my favorite. They're the most natural looking. And this one is super fun because it has all different colors, pink, green, blue. I'll put a picture here on the side. Uh, yeah, just really fun, but the number, it was just hard. Kiss, it's long length, and these are the majestic nails. And like I said, these were the prettiest, like, blinged out nails out of all the sets. None of my gems fell off until after maybe, like, eight days. And then I ended up just putting on an extra nail for my set because one of them fit my nails. But yeah, I thought if you were to go for, like, a blinged out set, Kiss is the way to go. I'm a big time fan of their almond nails. I think they look really nice and flush. 
but I will say my least favorite pair from Olive and June, I just tried two, was their short nails. Now I appreciated the length, but I found that they were just so natural and almost too durable since they had no give that they were popping off very fast. This short pair was like boop, boop, boop after two, three, four days, one was popping off every single day. It looked very nice and natural. So I would say this pair on me would only last like a good one to two days and I would be nervous for it to just pop off because it's so like, you know, short. And I find like anything would just, just take it right off. But I do really love this option of super natural nails. Definitely recommend their other lengths because just by trying their medium almond, they're really beautiful. Like I said, I already had like two come off, but it's about prep. But so far they've been good and I like the way they look. They look very nice and flush. Um, I will say any brand though that has a super rounded bottom like this one doesn't look flush to the cuticle. And that's another thing that I notice about Olive and June. Now I did try out this Bratz collab from Glamnetic and I will say they have some really nice collabs and a lot of different styles. I find that, I'm not sure who has the most designs, but I do prefer the Glamnetic, but Static is right there, but they're just very expensive. Uh, but I will say like, I loved these glitter tips. They were so cute and I loved just like the square look. I used to be really into square nails and they just have so many different shapes, which I really appreciate. Like I said, once you go on the website, there are so many trendy freaking designs. You're gonna say, oh, this is cute, this is cute. And they're like the designs that you see that like that you would probably give as inspo. OPI solids do um, look really beautiful. But again, with this rounded one, it did not look flush to my nail bed, but maybe it might to you. Um, again, it's all about shaping. There is an almond shape of this shade. They have it in long, short, and medium. So that's one of the cool things about it is that if you do find a shade you like an OPI, they have it in three different sizes. Again, you can use a coupon and also get Ulta points. The static nails, these look really beautiful. They laid super flush, like the curve, um, very natural, so light. But like I said, it was just the bend in them that got me, but these looked absolutely beautiful on. This nail from Glamnetic was really beautiful. I love like the little small daisy design. It's just so dainty. They have a lot of dainty designs, but again, with this rounded bottom, I will say, for my nail bed, it wasn't like totally flush. It was a little bit too cut narrow on the side. So again, it just all depends what you're looking for. If that doesn't bother you, then yeah. But I will say I did have a gap. You guys already know how I feel about these Kiss French tips. My number one, this is my go-to, I love it. The only thing is that since there is more of a transparent background, you have to make sure you put a ton of glue to just, so you don't get any air bubbles. Uh, you just wanna, push down at a 45 right here and then just lock it in. If you get glue on the sides, honestly, I don't really care. I just wanna make sure I have no air bubbles and then I just wipe it clean once I feel like it's like it's on and then I just press it again. I just wipe it as quick as I can and then push it again. Lamnetic was really my favorite because then I wore this me metallic pair and I just really enjoyed their designs. Like this one is rock candy and the metallic tip on this one it did not rub off until probably like day nine or 10 uh, because these lasted almost two weeks. I just decided to take them off and try this new pair. This is what I have on now. This is the pair that I wore before, but like I said, the metallic part lasted a really long time. I also tried two more solids from OPI, which I enjoyed. And then this one that I'm currently wearing right now, and like I said, Olive and June has the biggest range in size. So for glues, Kiss was okay, it was decent. The best glues were Glamnetic, Static, and OPI. And then the one that I liked the least was Olive and June, um, and then those were just popping off pretty quick. And like I said, after I was done with a round of trying out their glue, I went straight to this. Like I did not turn back because this is number one and no one will steer me any other way because like I said, my longest set was almost 16 days. It was like 15 and a half. I just took them off at like three in the morning. As far as the winner in the battle, 
I guess I will have to say Kiss is because they have the most amount of designs and their prices definitely do range, but you can find some really affordable ones because I mean, come on now, the French French tip, these real short ones are $4.95 on Amazon. That is the lowest price. So I will say Kiss is definitely the winner. The largest size and range is Olive in June. Most like modern and trendy and the way that they fit and price range, it would be Glamnetic for sure. Um, Static is really nice, but they win the, because I don't want to say that they didn't win anything. They win the category for the most thin, natural feeling nail. Uh, just know that they're not, um, that they have uh, a bend to them, but they feel like nothing. Hopefully I did a good job. I feel like I really just went in and found lots of different detail of each nail, but uh, let me know down below what is your favorite nail. Are there any other nail brands I should try? Link them down below and I can do a round two of the battle and compare them to my winners of different categories today. I have no problem doing that. And do you think you have a better nail glue? Because like I said, this is just the best. And don't tell me super glue or gorilla glue because honestly, I I just rather use something that's designated for nails. Show some love down below. Let me know your opinion on different brands and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Woo.